Hello everyone, let's look at verse number 4 of chapter 65. And those who no longer expect menstruation amongst your women. So the first thing that you have to pay attention to is that the Quran is using the word Nesa'a. So this is really important. You have to realize that the word that the Quran uses is Nesa. So this verse is talking about Nesa. Nesa in the Quran is always used for adult women. So I'm going to show you an example. I'm not going to go through the Quran. You can do that research yourself. This is verse 98 of chapter 4. It says, except for the oppressed among men, a women, again, the exact same word and Nesa is used. So it uses the word men, then it uses the word Nesa as adult women. And right after that, it says well, well, well done. It means and children. So Nesa, when you are using the word Nesa, you're not using it for someone who is six years old or nine years old or 12 years old. Those are children. So those are the well done, you are, those are the children, you're talking, you're you are using the word Nesa for adult women. Having said that, that's not the point of the video, that was just an example, please do your own research, that is a very time consuming, so, so many verses about the word Nesa in the Quran. I'm going to go back to the verse. In regards to these adult women, if you doubt, if you doubt about them, then their period, their edda, is three months. So you have to wait at least three months before you can divorce them, right? And then right after that, it says also the same condition applies to wallahi lam yahidna. It means the women, those who do not menstruate. Here they have translated as have not menstruated, but it doesn't matter. What it means is that the, the women who do not menstruate. So basically, these women who do not menstruate, you also have to wait three months before you can divorce them, right? However, the problem is that the traditional Muslims and Christian apologists, they translate this verse, this part of the verse, as if it's talking about the girls that are underaged and have not reached the age of puberty. And because of that, they say that the Quran justifies marrying children or prepubescent girls, girls before the age of puberty. That is an absolute lie. That's an absolute fabrication. These people are saying that because they don't understand the Quran. The Quran, first of all, is very obvious, talking about Nessa, who are adult women. And here it has nothing to do with prepubescent girls. It has nothing to do with that. And I'm going to explain that. What the Quran is talking about is a condition that is called in medical terms as amenorrhea. It's absent periods. What it says is that when you don't get periods at all, it's called amenorrhea. It's a very well-known condition that many women, actually considerable percentage of women, they don't menstruate. This can be obviously sometimes short-term or it can be long-term. And then you have primary amenorrhea, which is when menstrual periods haven't started by the age of 16. But you have other signs of puberty, such as pubic hair or breasts, but there is no menstruation. Then there's also secondary amenorrhea, which is when periods stop for three months or more in a row after you have previously had regular periods. And there are many conditions that can cause absent periods. I mean, there's so many of them. There's polycystic ovarian syndromes. Uh, pituitary or thyroid disease, excessive exercise, low body weight and poor nutrition, weight gain, 
severe anxiety and stress, traveling, menopause, there are other conditions, other conditions such as Asherman's syndrome is a rare genetic disorder. So these things happen all the time and unfortunately many women suffer from them and because of that they have absent periods or amenorrhea which is a condition when they do not menstruate. Just one condition of poor nutrition was extremely common back in the time and even as of today it's extremely common if you go to some countries in the developing world, some countries in Africa, some countries in, in the Middle East and other places. These are so common. So this verse here, when it's talking about Allah ilam yahidun, it's not talking about children, it's not talking about prepubescent girls. That's nothing to do with that. It's talking about those conditions that I just mentioned and those women who are suffering, those adult women who are suffering from those conditions and because of that they do not menstruate so for them they still have to wait it means three months before they can get a divorce however unfortunately unfortunately the traditional muslims because they worship akbar unknowingly the devil has beautified in their hearts the act of pedophilia because of that, they actually translate this as those girls who have not reached the age of puberty. The other group is those who are the enemies of Yahuwah, the enemies of Allah, our Creator, and His messengers and His prophets. Those also translate this as the little girls who have not menstruated yet. They have not begun, they have not started menstruation. And this is because in these two groups of people, there is sickness in their hearts. Especially the traditional Muslims. I understand the Christian apologists. I completely understand. They're doing what they do. However, when I see a traditional Muslim, a Sunni cleric or a Shiite cleric, a scholar, a shaykh who comes and says that, like some people made comments under my previous video about Prophet Muhammad marrying a six or nine year old, the accusations that exist against him. There were some traditional Muslims that were making comments and they were saying, no, that's what the Quran says. No, that's not what the Quran says. That is what you translate, that is what you understand because of the lust, because of that devil that exists in your heart. That This verse has nothing to do with children, with prepubescent children. The word is, as I mentioned, Nesa is used. And I shared with you in the verse 98 of chapter 4 that Allah is making, making a distinction between Rajal, Nesa, and children. So what you're talking about, a six-year-old, a nine-year-old, these are children. That's not an adult woman. I can't believe in 2024, we have these religious scholars that are going around and defending that. Peace and blessings to all of you.